peachtools.com. G'day guys, as you've seen I've been playing with these things lately. I've got four or five videos about these uh, carbon arc gouging rod things. Um, I've just been playing with them in the garage. But what I didn't realise, that you guys probably already do because I'm as thick as you know what, that um, depending on what size arc rod you're running them on, you need a different size rod. Well, I didn't really know that. I thought a carbon rod was a carbon rod. So there you go. What the hell is Pete though? Anyway, guys, I'll show you what rods you need if you're running it on a small arc welder. You know, about 100 amp, 120 to 160, something like that. You certainly don't want to be using one of these big mummers. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe. Come say good day in the comments below. And uh, I'll show you what I'm going on about today. So, guys, you might have noticed that I'm not even using a proper gouging gun. I made this, made this by myself. I'll put a link down below if you want to see how I made it. I just don't want to spend 150 bucks on a gouging gun. This should do the same job. But anyway, guys, this is an 8mm rod here, and it's way too big for, like, I'm running about 120 amps, and it's just way too big a rod for a 120 amp machine. Here, I'll show you. See that, guys? It does work, but it, it works okay, but it's not brilliant. You wouldn't want to do it on any less power. This is about 120 amps, guys and it's blowing the weld out, as you can see. But it's quite slow. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll turn the amperage up another 20 amps and we'll see what's different. So guys, I've actually turned it up to a couple of hundred amps. Now this is the maximum I'm gonna get out of my machine, so we'll see what the difference that makes. See that, guys? Huge difference. So much more power. See that guys, we're actually blowing away the malt and metal there, it's really awesome. So this is at 200 amps guys, which is about the maximum I can do. As you can see guys on 200 amps it's starting to really penetrate this here but if I but like I showed you before when I had it on 120 it wasn't really even touching the surface so what I'm saying is guys you're gonna have to have the right carbon rod for the right size machine that you're running and most of us guys we only got like 200 amp or under machines maybe 140 amp Woo, we'll do that again Pete and you will electrocute yourself maybe 140 amp 120 amp I've even seen some 190 amp machines Anyway guys, I'll show you a smaller rod like this. So guys, this rod here is 8mm and according to the specs, when you're running at 8mm, you need between 350 and 500 amps to run it. So we're way below that and a lot of us guys haven't really got that sort of power in our workshops. So after I bought this size, I all of a sudden realised that there were different sizes. So then I went from one extreme to the other and then I brought this size here which is about 4mm, 3mm, 4mm, which, what is that in Imperial, about 532 or something like that, um, which is a really, really baby one. See that? It's really, really small. And this size here, you can get away with running about 75 to 90 amps, you can probably get away running this and still be able to get the old welds out. Anyway, guys, we'll try this one on the 200 amps and see what it does. So, guys, here's with a little baby carbon rod. So we've still got it set at 200 amp, but it'll probably just blow the end off the rod. So we'll have a go. And these little rods are that brittle that I had to put some silver paper in here to stop the clamp from just snapping it off altogether. Because they're really, really brittle, guys. See that? Like that? Just broke it in half, no worries at all. So you just, if you're using the really small rods, just make sure because they're as brittle as hell. Right, let's see if it actually works. There's way too much power for that rod, guys. See, it's heating up the whole rod, as you can see, all the way up to here. So we'll just go and turn that down a bit, eh? Alright, so now I'm actually on about 65, 70 amps. Still not really good, is it? We'll turn it up a bit more, guys. So, guys, I'll turn it up to about 110 amps to see if it works. Does, but you'll be here all day doing it. Well, 
See that guy? Just too fifty useless. So guys, as you can see, the little rods here are next to useless if you're running them on like 140 odd amp because they just don't have the grunt. And also guys, like I said before, they're that bloody brittle, it's almost impossible to use them. So guys, the conclusion I've come to is this, that if you're running under 250 amp, don't even bother with these things because they're just going to take you forever and ever and ever. You might as well use a bloody grinder or try and do it with your plasma cutter. I've actually got another video about taking out welds with a plasma cutter. I'll put it in the description below if you want. So guys, the 6mm carbon rod here, or quarter inch, whatever you like to say, is about the maximum thickness you're going to use if you've got about a 250 amp arc welder. Anything else, is you're going to be pushing in the wind, as Pete would say. Um, but like I say, you can get smaller rods like this which is a little little baby thing, and this is next to useless, you might as well just not bother. You might as well try and scrape your weld out with your fingernail as far as I'm concerned. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want, and uh, we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Peach Tools. Peach Tools. Peach Tools. Peach Tools.